Mosquito will go bite for you. Sniper will go snipe for you. Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. In the studio with us this evening is a very talented R&B artist, a young Nigerian and the winner of The Voice Nigeria season two. An ideal artist, if I do say so myself. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome ideal or lady, let's welcome ideal. <laughs> welcome thank ideal. You, thank you, thank you. How are you doing I'm, today? I'm doing great, how are you? I'm fantastic. You're looking beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, much. <laughs> so, so basically, um, mm. you know, basic question, who is ideal exactly? Um, ideal, ideal is Daniel Diongoli. I'm from Biosa State. And I'm an artist, you know, I, I, I create music. I don't just make music, I create it. And mm. yeah, ideal is just that boy from one small town. Doing this thing here. <laughs> Just that boy from one small town. Did yeah. you ever, in your wildest dreams, think that you would win a competition as prestigious as The Voice Nigeria? Well, I've always dreamt of it because I started auditioning in like 2011. That's when I started going for talent competition. So I, I've always hoped to win one day. You know, sometimes I just. Um, go to the bathroom and I'm looking in the mirror and then I'm announcing myself as the winner. And you know, giving and, that but, speech. <laughs> but when The Voice Nigeria came, it wasn't planned, so I didn't really, you know, I just went there and it happened. Okay, mm. so and since The Voice Nigeria, how has it been? You know, what's, what's been the acceptance of Nigerians mm. of your music? Um, it's, it's been amazing. Like, you know, after I got out of the competition, I was a bit skeptical about the kind of material to put out there. You know how the people are going to receive it has but like it's it's been amazing you know I, I go to places and I perform and people are vibing to the songs you know so right now I even have people that know me not because I won the voice Nigeria but because I have a song that's on TV that they like mm. you know? so yeah it's been it's been it's been quite amazing one for me okay so we know that you're not near to hello Nigeria you are more like a friend well, actually, I'm, I'm part family. of the family, I'm family. you know. <laughs> <laughs> but but then we, we we let's let's look at your your view of yeah. music performance and production in Nigeria. Okay. How do you feel that production, first of all, has done in Nigeria so far in the last five years? Um. Well, I'd first of all like to say a big shout out to all the producers out there. I feel I feel like production has grown. You know, um, lately. Like myself, when I, I made I made I made a song recently, like a couple of days ago, and after the producer made the beat, we were listening to the beat. I had recorded it. We were listening to it, and there was something that just wasn't there at that point. So we were just vibing to it, and I had to play an instrument with my mouth, you know, and that was like the the sound that held the beat mm. down. So lately, like producers have been putting more live instrumentation to their beats other than the way it was like a couple of years ago that they just do everything digital and like just press the mouse and just put it there. You know, right now people try to make some very like nice, beautiful sounds that mm -hmm. are not there in the computer that they have to make with their mouth or play the drums, you know. So I'd say production in Nigeria has really, really grown. Okay. Right now it can compete with, you know, the, the international industry the international the market industry. okay so so still still on that concerning performance for example yeah. um a lot of the time people have complained of nigerian artists not being able to do live performances yeah. adequately you know and even correctly mm. sometimes they do it and they get it like right yeah. sometimes they go like they didn't feel that there was synergy in you know the influence or infusion of this instrument on stage have you ever done live performances before? <laughs> Come on, like all, all through, like even before The Voice Nigeria, I used to sing with just backing tracks. Okay, you so know, was, outside The Voice? Yeah, um, I have. Like I was even earlier today, you know, I, I had an event. So on, my, on our way back from the event, I was even talking to um, Helen, that to, the, my manager that took me there, you know. I was talking to her and I was telling her that, you know, I miss performing live. Mm. Like funny, funny, I didn't even know this was what we're discussing about, but I was telling her that I miss performing live, like I don't enjoy it when I go to a show and then I have to say, ah, DJ Oya, slam the tune, mm -hmm. you know, and then I just lip sync to it. I prefer to sing, that's how I feel it. Like, so if I'm singing to you, I mean every word I say, not when I'm just lip syncing to the of song. Course. So I feel like 
in Next that one. area, in that area, I feel we're lacking behind a bit. Mm. You know, because not every, not too many Nigerian artists is like, say, three out of ten, you know, could come out boldly and say they want to do live. You know, yeah. and and I think that's that's one thing we um, we as artists, you know, we need to work on and also. Um, you know, these show promoters, the people that plan these events, they should try to make those those things available and make that space for people to express themselves. Oh, yeah, I think you actually made mention of something like that earlier today. Ex express oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> we are so in sync. And I'm so glad that you are comfortable with performing live because you definitely are performing live of course, before you of leave. Of course, of course, of course. <laughs> the show so tonight. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Okay, ideal. Take it away. Yeah, I, um... Ooh, yeah. yeah. I like how you stare in my eyes when you tell me the sweet words. Then I realize that I really. Really do love you Cause when you walk out that door, baby I really do miss you Tell me when you're coming Coming back home To tell me that you love me Tell me once again Tell me that you love me Cause I really do Tell me when you're coming Coming back home. Ooh, I love the way you put on that dress. Where you look at me and you smile. I love it when you pop up your collar. Where you look at me and you smile. The lady in the red dress, sitting on a red couch, and she touching her body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to make. Sweet love to ya, ooh baby. Said I like to make, make, make. Sweet love to ya, oh baby. So 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 I say say, turn your lights down low, 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 and unfold your window curtains. And let your moon come shining in. Wow. Into our lives again. Saying, Ooh, it's been a long, long time, baby. I've got this message for you, girl. And it feels like I was never on time. <laughs> Still want to get through to you, girl. Be back in the Everything you treated me like I was a king. What spell did you cast on me? Oh, was it just make believe? You say, Boy, never be afraid of ever, ever loving me. But those words I hung on to, oh, damn, I was a fool. You became my bad habit, keeping up appearances. That was crazy. To enjoy more of these our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.